get back into this. So, the house. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? I'm done. What is she drawing? Clem's drawings. But where is she? She's drawing me digging the grave. Yeah, good point. Clem, you in here? Uh, what happened? Bob Clementine? And Clementine, you here? Clem? She is though. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? That's a great idea. <laughs> so, head in. Is that it? E and N. Let's leave, please. Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! God, where is she? Kenny? Kenny? <laughs> now he's getting. Oh, pissed. hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. <laughs> you wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Don't do it. Taunt. <laughs> Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine uh... to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Oh, I have a feeling she's not gonna be out there. Uh -huh. Please, please don't tell me she's gone. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, she's gone. Clementine. What the hell happened back here? Nah. Could we crawl through that? No. Clementine would. Shut door. Doors come in behind. Don't think anyone came in through there. Fence still. Is that. What? 
something inside. The clone tent? I don't know. It is. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. What? What is it? It's a bone! <laughs> yeah. It's a bone. Finally. Whoa. I know, right? <laughs> we did it. Found a boat. Finally. Oh, thank God. Is <laughs> Omid so all right? Hello. Is is anything all right? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, yeah. if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. Really? I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Are we actually taking her? No offense, but... Well, I'm sorry, we don't even know you that well. You want the good news or the bad news? Oh, it's bad news. Uh, I think we could all use some good news. Good news is the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Uh, we should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. True, actually. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I yeah, don't see like what other choice the we have. Worst kind. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to Maybe outsiders. we can There's sneak in. Some way we can sneak in there undetected. Hopefully. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Nice. Convenient. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's, that's I mean, a great close, idea, actually. I mean, if I we can know. do it, if we can pull this off, yeah. that'd be actually I've really thought good. About it before, that'd be meaningful. Never had the Significant. Do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going Let's to Crawford? It. We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an True. answered prayer. Just got to push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight. 
Under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. All right. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> true, true. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Oh, um. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. No one else is going to die. I promise. True. You can't promise that. <sighs> also true. Which is touche. No, I guess I can't. Uh, Sorry. But let's just hope nobody I dies, I right? Go get ready. Uh, say what now? Ready? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Actually, you, you're... Uh, it's where dangerous. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Maybe not now. Can't I come with you? I wish, but I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh. don't make me do this game, please. Uh, I just, I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody says, but you just cannot say no to Clementine. Okay. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. That was a hard choice. I know I, I, I wanted to I wanted her to come with me, but it's it is dangerous. Like I don't wanna kill her. <laughs> well, obviously I don't wanna kill her, but I don't want her to die. You know, that's my responsibility. My mis my responsibility is her and I can't let her get hurt or worse, you know what I mean? So Oh, well, let's just hope she doesn't get hurt. It's turning night time now, so Check out what I found in the Turned garage. Midnight, actually. Hatchet, oh, axe, oh. some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30 footer. So? So we're going to have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't going to hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Oh. Oh, his wife, Who the is hell it? is this? This is Bree, she can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Well, I don't think it's his wife, actually. It's a woman, anyways. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Thank you. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Got it. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you.
There we go. Through the manhole. And let's see. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Please don't turn around, please don't turn around, please don't turn around. Please. What the fuck? Oh crap, the walker. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Why is there walkers in Crawford? Don't they clear them all out? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Exactly. Get inside, fast! How did they get in? How did they get in? How did they get here? The kill walkers, they don't, you know. That's just, that's strange. I don't know. Oh, okay. Jesus. That scared the hell out of me. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Uh, I, 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 no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh. Sorry, what Clementine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Wait, how is this what? good? What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb, they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. True, true, that's good. I agree. So long as we don't let them box people us in, we can no still do People with no guns is better than people plan with hasn't guns. Changed. So. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. Radio then. I got Settled. a bad feeling about this. You know what? So do I, but we gotta go. We gotta go. Guessing there's walkers inside there. So there's a big giant X on it. And you could hear the walkers, so just keep moving. Alright, already. Jesus. Here. Looks What's okay. Here? Everybody in. This looks creepy. There's fish all over the place. <laughs> Drawn everywhere. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. What you mean? What are you talking about? 
Just give me a sec. Okay, then. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. Suspicious. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. Is she no, here before? Two people's enough. You stay Maybe. here. Oh, no. See if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. You're the Back smart one. <laughs> Right, let's continue. I like this little music. Never mind, it's gone. <laughs> it's like kind of a slow piano kind of type. I like it. I like it. Let's take a look at the, the alleyway to the auto Jesus shops Christ. down here. You coming or not? You don't have to ear at me. I, I just want to point that out. Jesus Christ. I'm in the middle of a looking empty locker and she's like blah, 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 blah. The auto shop's down there Like screaming in my ear Can you walk please? Please, that'd be great Thank you What is this that? This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is But where the hell is Molly? Like she's probably already gone, isn't she? The walkers sound close oh, There's one over there Molly, you out here? Keep it down, Jesus Christ. Guess I'm not going that way. Probably not. <laughs> Let's see. What's this? Auto shop must be down this way. Yep. Guess so. Can we look at that? What the hell was that? Is that her? Alright, what can I do? Gonna make a jump for it, Roach. Here we go. Carriage door. Can't lift it, can you? Nope. Damn. If only Molly was here. Could have an extra hand. I don't know where the hell she went. This is stupid. Where the hell is she? Alright, obviously we can't do that on our own, so we're gonna have to look for Molly. And there's walkers. There we go. Better not get too close. Right, so we have... Uh, no Molly, and... Oh Jesus! Why the? Leave him! Oh, she is here. How, where the hell did you come from? She just jump off a roof. Where the hell have you been? 
She just drops a walker right beside me. Almost flattened me. Dude, Jesus. Molly? Molly! Jesus Christ. What? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you could lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. Think he's, he's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Uh. Not a problem. Look what I found. What's it? Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh, is that a car jack? Um, and they've spotted us. Better get the door open, like, pronto. Come on, quickly. They're gonna take the fence over and get in here. So, see, I told you it's gonna happen. Do something quickly. Just stood there for about 10 seconds. Oh, it's gonna be too late. No, Come on. We're so, oh, we're so dead. We are so dead. Yeah, I told you they tipped the fence over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's all over. Oh, I'm so dead. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, the walker's still alive. That walker. Molly, you hit it everywhere except for the head. Don't you know that's kind of where you're supposed to go? It's kind of where you're supposed to Take aim. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under the. <sighs> Right, sick. We got a car. We got it. It's beeping. I don't like when it beeps. Why is it beeping? Well, it's not beeping. I can't you know reach I mean? it up there. It's flickering. And then this. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. So. Get the battery there. It looks and like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Where's the battery? Okay. Let's. Ooh, the lift panel. The lift. No power. Uh, no power. Does it? Does it say where there is power? It's locked. No way in. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Right. Still, uh, nothing. Right. Let's ask Molly if she knows anything to do. Something you need? S Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. Hilda. Who's That's Hilda? what I call her. Don't judge. Please, oh, can I borrow uh, Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Why do I use it with? <laughs> I mean, I, I asked for it and and thank you by the way, but like, what am I doing? The hydraulic hose. Okay. And I'm guessing that's the gas. I did it. Whoa, whoa. Oh shit. That's probably not good. No shit. Oh shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Alright. Still attached to the terminals. So we'll get the terminals off. It's off. Okay. okay. Now the other one me. One. There we go. Now got that one off. I think we can get it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, follow me. Is there any? Is there anywhere we could go? Move your ass. On top of the semi. Okay. Uh. Right on top of the semi truck. Okay. Oh my god, this looks so crazy. And it is so crazy. Yeah, what about it? Shoot it, sure. 
Oof. Can't reach that. How she reached that? Oh. There we go. Oh, we're up. Wow. That was tense as hell. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Okay, Jesus Come on. Christ. Ah, uh, here now. Oh, I can't do that. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Chicken, I'm not... I don't know, man. No, 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 I didn't say... Oh! What did I miss? <laughs> oh, God. That would have been scary. That would have been very, very scary. Thank God I did not miss. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Are you Bye. kidding me? God damn it, what the hell is she doing? She better not be Mitching. I swear to God, if she's Mitching away from us with the battery, if she's gonna use the battery for something else, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill her. I'm actually gonna kill her. Oh, I thought that was a walker. It was Vernon. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Good. Good. Well, that's good. Uh, let's see what else I can do. Um, locker. The bloody locker. Can't open it without the combination. Do we know the combination? You I guess don't know the combination to any of these. Yeah, I guess not. Can we look at these lockers? Okay, we not can't. Sign. Sam. Who's that? Must be the guy who ran this place. Maybe. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> right. I don't think. Are we going? Back out? No. no. We're not going back out. Okay. So. Let's head back. All the way back. No oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh that's scary as all hell. Okay. 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 <laughs> How things escalate that bad? Come on. I don't ask you that bad. No, 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 don't you. Ryan Chew again. Jesus Christ. Uh, the uh, hatchet. Yeah, he's not. Oh, close it. Close it. Circle. Circle it. Circle it up. Circle it up, fam. Damn well better. How the hell did they even get it? How'd you guys get them here? Like, let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Use a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You. Jesus. Christ Almighty, that escalated very quickly. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Yeah, she better be, I swear. Right, now what exactly? Bree? Hey Lee, thanks for all your help. Her name's Bree? Okay. I don't think Bree. we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Um... How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with 
Everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. It's true. Whatever it's true. happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Crawford does sound like a really bad place. I'll be back. Got some things to Right, so uh let's go talk to uh Ben and Kenny. Ben first and what then do we still Kenny. need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. Exactly. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Oh yeah, he doesn't know. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that? He's saying that in public. How can Ken not hear him? Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. I swear to God, he don't better not to say it to me. Kenny, because Kenny's gonna just snap and kill him. I swear. Creepy. Mm, creepy. I mean creepy. Uh, wow, we literally can't even talk to Kenny. All right, so are we going back out then? Is that it? Because we talked to everyone, so I guess we're going back up. Let's go. So we need to get the medical. Facility room thing, so... Have we looked at any of these? Yeah, we have. Must be the guy who ran this place. Right. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. I literally have no idea what to do now, so, uh... Yep. Look at me. Shell casings. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Ding door. Shit. Oh crap. Christ, how'd they get here? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to take them out. Yeah, thought that would have let them. Um, I'm really bad, so, uh... Ooh. There we go. It's just me and the gun, Krista. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? 
This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Yeah, hopefully. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Yeah, probably. What is this? The copy a copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Papers, Just please. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. I was at the other end of the hallway and you just teleport. It's like nothing happened. Okay. Let's let's go. Let's let's just go. Okay, Jesus Christ. They really wanna get us. They really wanna get us. Oh the walkers are dead. It's gotta be something we can get. Excuse me? Alright, I don't know where you're seeing this. get in. I cannot get in. I was here. I was in there a second ago, game. What the hell? That's stupid. Why is that not re registering? Registering. That I don't understand. I I'm actually tapping X rapidly. Alright, let's just go back into the classroom, come back out, see if anything's better then, because that was... This... This is just so stupid. Why is this happening? There's no reason whatsoever. Like, I actually can't even click on most things. Is it in the bathroom door? Fuck. No. Didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. Understand? I actually don't understand. doesn't work this time I might have to exit and leave and then come back in because I don't know why I can't get into the nurse's room there has to be a way Nothing in there. there has to be a way I can it's just so stupid you know what I mean why can I not get in so dumb. So stupid. 
and I still can't get in. What is this? What the hell? <laughs> I actually cannot get in at all. Right, I'm gonna reload the game and see if I can get in because look, I'm right there. I'm right there and it's just no. It's like not letting me in, so let's see what happens if I come back in. Okay, it reloads me back in here. Okay. That's good. Thank God. What the hell happened? Oh, that was so buggy. Why couldn't I get back in? Like it's so stupid. I think they must have rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Right, so do not exit. Guys, remember to tell me do not exit from there because the game just explodes. I can't get back in afterwards. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's a tape. Right. How's a tape gonna be useful? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. I don't know what that is. <laughs> There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. Camera? What the hell happened here? Is there a camera? There's a camera. It was right there the whole time. I didn't even know. <laughs> Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Whoa. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. So she knows that she's going to be know, the rules are very clear. ejected from... Is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If she's going to be ejected from Crawford. Evidence of a pregnancy. I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Well, so this patient, Anna Carrere, is... Well, it has to be... Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said... The worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was just, one of the walkers out on the she alley. She knows that she's pregnant and she's search, gonna be see what expelled he's got from on him. Crawford. So she can either kill the baby or, you know, be removed from Crawford. So it's gonna have to come to. All right, any more tapes? Nope. Drawers. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. All right. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. All right. Does anybody know where yeah, another tape is? Cleaned out. Anybody? Any tapes? Vernon. 
How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Could be. Um... Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. True. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Alright. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Alright. So, I don't wanna... Don't wanna leave just yet. Just wanna kinda double check everything. Cause I might miss something, so... Gotta just check everywhere, you know. <sighs> hmm. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. I've got things to do. Yeah, same here. Right, so... Can't look at this anagram again, no? Oh. Right. Um, actually there was something here. Yeah, the tape. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Wait, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Well, I can't even... Why are you recording this? Right, I think that's got to be every everything. I mean... I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Um, what is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Yeah, um... Probably going to have to go. See what we can do. You find that doctor's body? Did you search him? Not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, if that's what I have to do, uh, I think I know where he is. Because I saw when Molly beat the hell out of him. Oh, man, that's got to be too dangerous to go out alone, so we'll probably have to get back up. But um, it's a good idea, I mean, beating the hell out of that doctor. You could probably probably know it's best, you know. Let's see, let's see. Hopefully, we're able to get what we need. Yep. Let's go. Right now, he was around here. Sure, here, Lee, if you could walk a little faster, that'd be great. Oh god! Oh god, that's good the hell out of me. Holy crap. Oh, not cool. Not cool at all. Gotta kill. There we go. Now search quickly. Quickly, don't take too long. Another tape. This might be just what we need. And what's mm -hmm. this? Might be. Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. That might be the combination for the locker. Shit, time to go. So we got two things. We got the tape and we got uh, possibly the combination for the locker. So we got good stuff. Very good stuff. 
All right, let's let's see. Let's go try the locker first, and then we can see what's inside the locker. This must have been his locker. Yep. Yes. Two tapes. All right. Two tapes. The combination of the safe has to be in one of these two tapes. Probably the second one, but um, let's just see. Here we go. All right. Vernon, Krista. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. I am. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Thanks, up. <laughs> oh, and he was shanked. No, no, no. Wow. Tape just ends like that. What happened to Crawford? More importantly, we got the combination. Why is she... why is she crying? Krista, are you alright? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just... hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Alright. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Do we know the combination? But what was the last tape? We're in business. Antibiotics, more If we can watch the last tape, I'm watching. <laughs> Whatever I might have, okay, might have something. I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else. Yeah, exactly. There. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I won't. Right here we go. The last one. Let's see what's on this one. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. What? This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking a Molly? Inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Was Molly. She? I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Was she a prostitute? I think so. So she was in Crawford and she was a prostitute. Okay. She needed the medicine for her sister. Right. Well, we got what we came for. So uh, I guess we can go out, I guess. And uh, get everything back to... Normal. If that makes any sense. If anything can go back to normal. Let's see. Let's bloody see. Yeet. Alright. Oh, Christ. Molly. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm just kidding. Oh, she is kidding me. Okay, thank God. <laughs> she does have it, right? Here you go. Oh, thank you. Jesus. What's that? 
Nothing. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before. But that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. Yeah, she was. I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. So did they kill her sister and throw throw her out? This is all I have left of her. Wow. I didn't that have time to take rough. it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. So it wasn't her ringing that bell. <laughs> it was just an automatic bell. Whoa, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, ben? Um, Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, you're so dumb, man. Stupid. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. Oh no. Shoot this fucker! Thanks. That wasn't me. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Clementine. <gasps> yes. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Use Come it. on, damn you! Use the hatchet. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Fine, Whatever you did, him. save it for later. Fine. Go ahead. Tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... No, I knew it. Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to oh, sort God. out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, 
But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Um. Uh, sure. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I... I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, Kenny. I know what he's done, but like... What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh my... And she's dead. Oh god. Oh. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! That was hard to watch. Oh, one shot. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on, there's got to be a way out down here. All right, let's head down here. Okay, how are you doing? Ah! <laughs> it's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Oh great. Oh, shotgun. Lee, Good. look. Nice. Oh, let's go. Let's get some ass. Okay, okay. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Okay. Okay. Get it. See? The dumb thing is almost like automatic. Oh god. Oh no, I fell. Come on. Come on. Come on, get your leg out, get your leg out. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Lee, how could you... Are you kidding me? Lee, gotta be looking faster than that. Come on, alright, try your leg. Try your leg. Try your leg. There we go. There we go. Finally. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, who's here before that? Oh. Thank you, Krista. Appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Slicing and dicing. Here we go. Good shot. Knock him off. Good ball. Good face. Oh, you good buddy. Um, are you kidding me? I pressed the. Lee! This time, Lee can actually kill this guy. I swear I almost messed up. And you... Gotcha. How are you not dead? There, there we go. There we go, now he's dead. Boom. Send him drop down. Come on! It's I'm all dead. right, Cliff. I'm okay. fine. It's all okay. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Yeah, go. So there's no more we have to deal with. <laughs> come on, let's go!
what? Oh! Oh god, there's a guy on the roof. God. Oh god. Oh no. Yeah, no. Come on. He's still gonna get him. Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! I, I can't kill him. I, no, I. Oh, there really is no time. We have to do this. We both know. No. Let me you go. kidding me? Can't. No. God damn you, son of a bitch. I don't know why I'm keeping you alive. You're dead weight. <sighs> Come on, go. Jesus. Slow piece of shit. Now, oh, where are we? Back at the house. Yep. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, so me? Mead? Is he. Don't tell me he's dead. Check his pulse. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. He's gone. What? Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, oh, he's alive. It's hey. a miracle. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. I'm sorry. Thanks. What the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Seriously. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Okay, sure. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, Putting everyone on a boat with no destination. Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. Offer? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I guess you have a point. I just want what's best for her. Whatever that means. I think you already know what it means, Lee. I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far. And they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm truth. sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. We have to keep her safe. It, okay? You do that. I have to keep her safe at all costs, so... I mean, Vernon's crew, they look well.
he has great points, but I mean, I don't want to let Clementine go. At the same time, I want to keep her close to me, but I have to keep her. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're you just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Um... I'd like to, Clint, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. True. So we came here trying to look for our parents, and <laughs> now we can't. Really sorry for her. It must be really hard. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's, it's just the way it has to be. Clementine? She lost Clementine? again. Please don't tell me she's lost again. Oh. Where's everyone? Did they just ditch me? What the fu- What just happened? Did I just get ditched by everybody? Where is Clementine? everyone? Clementine! Clementine! Oh god. Her hat. Not again. The walk in. Get it. Oh. No, oh my God. Oh, that scared me so much. Oh, screw you, bro. Screw you, stop a mud hole and you have to. God damn, that scared me so bad. Oh, little bastard. No. What? No. What? No. 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 no way. No fucking way. Lee? You out here? 
You gotta be joking. Please tell me that's a joke. Yo, I'm about to have a fucking emotional are breakdown. What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Oh, I feel Where's like I'm about to let out my room. emotions. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. I can't believe no it. Way. No, bit. no fucking way. There's no time to worry bit. about me. Clementine's gone. Are you There's kidding no me? Chance she just wandered off on her own? No. How is he no big? Way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. So Vernon okay. has her? What do you need from us? Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? We're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. But I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. What Come on, Kenny, don't be like that. I don't know. But whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Better, okay, I swear to God. Go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me. Even bit. Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Alright. Settled then. Come on, guys, let's go. Literally all out of there. Where the They're hell all are gone. They? You serious? Looks so they like must they have got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt. Is it? Oh, lots and lots of walkers. Is that it? The horde? There is lots of them. Oh, 
Dolls are gonna come through there, aren't they? <gasps> She's there. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! It's not Vernon. It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. Then you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. To be continued. The Walking Dead episode 5. No time left. The final episode, guys. Here we go. Uh, did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 73% of players killed him. Uh, yeah, I thought, like, you kind of just had to kill him. Uh, did you lie or threaten, Vernon? You and 57% of players were rational and non uh, It's better to be honest than to be threatening. Um, did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? Oh, you and 47% of players brought her, so that was a, a close mix. Uh, did you let Ben fall to his death? I was really, really tempting to, but no, in the end I pulled him up, and I kind of regret it though. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of players showed the bite. That's crazy though. He's, he's bit. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's cool. That's cool. You, uh, well, no. Okay, I got the. Oh, I was third most. Like, um. The most was. Um. Lee and Kenny. And then the second one was. Omid, Ben, Lee, Kenny, and Krista. Uh, who came with me? Omid, uh, Ben, and Krista. Uh, came with me, but uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for episode five. Not episode five at all. Episode four um, of Telltale's The Walking Dead. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This is a very tense episode. We have to go find Clementine, and we have to find out what we're gonna do with the bite, which is very very scary. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.